there is one person that you will never impress. This was actually the quote from my own mentor 18 years ago today. And he was, of course, referring to me. I would never impress myself enough to be satisfied, he said. He knew I always drove for a higher standard, better outcomes, improved results. But he knew that that pressure was building on myself and that it was not achievable, whilst I was also playing to the monkey on my shoulder that was my imposter. Now, in those early years of running my own businesses, I worked long hours, often beyond midnight, disengaging from my family as I felt that the business was more important. And I measured my busyness by the number of meetings and the emails I had within the day. So busy was impressive, right? Well, how wrong could I have been? It was creative burnout. I was deceiving myself. And perhaps it masked some of my own insecurities. Now, often caused me to do more, to overthink and procrastinate whilst I thought how to make perfect those decisions that would delight everyone including myself. Now, a saying that I often reference is perfect decisions only exist in hindsight. And perhaps the biggest risk I took during those early years of my businesses was to move my comfort zone beyond these thoughts. Now, my mentor then encouraged me to reflect on the businesses that I had supported whilst I was in the bank before I started my own company. And his question was, What made those businesses great? Was it the owner? Was it the product or service? Was it the market opportunity that they had? In fact, the commonality was none of those. It was often clarity and consistency. A clear view of the business in the delivery of their promise, how it attracted its paying customers, and how the business paid the business owner to have the lifestyle that they wanted and that they deserved. And from that day, I changed. I now celebrate activity that contributes to my why, my purpose and my values, whilst creating the outcomes that I really want. And also the standard of quality that I'd expect is if I was a customer, knowing that every day I've given my best because I always do. This change has helped me to like myself for what it is that I do and how I do it, sometimes not perfectly. But I find now that business owners now engage me as a mentor to support their journey as I've found a way with tools and methods to address this and to focus on what is important, what puts food on the table. To perhaps shortcut my mistakes even. Now if you'd like a conversation about your business and some of the things I've just talked about then just let me know and we'll meet up or meet via Zoom.